Hey Cole, what's up? Ethan with Dynamic Graphics. Uh, just going to show you how to change the background on uh, the, your promotional images for your shirts. So at least this is how I, this is how I do it. Now there's more than one way to do it, but this is to me the easiest way. So I'm in Photoshop. I'm just going to open up one of the images that we've done before. Um, but in fact, this is this is your stuff right here. Um, this is the original photo that we took. Uh, to it. This one's probably gonna be easier to use. This is the original photo that I took. Um, we've just got a big, uh, giant uh, core plast board or something that we just lay down, and we um, actually lay it down on the floor, and uh, then lay the shirt out on uh, top of that, and then uh, just take a picture of it. And uh, as you can see, you can see the chloroplast. Uh, background um, and then a lot of times like I, I do a lot of tweaking on it too like I don't really like the lighting of this like this is supposed to be a black shirt and it looks kind of light so um, I'll actually usually do like an auto color to see a Photoshop kind of clean it up and um, see now it looks like there's a little bit too much red in it to me it looks it looks kind of reddish so uh, I usually go up here to color balance and um, I just I use these sliders to kind of adjust the the color to, you know, to where I like it and um, then you can adjust the contrast to uh, bring this black out more so that it's a more rich black uh, like that and, uh, and you don't have to do that but um, I just try to I just try to uh, make the photos as presentable as possible because the idea is like it, a photo rarely ever does the real thing justice but I try to get it as close as possible. Just take your selection tool up here and I'm going to select the whole image and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to edit paste and you see it created an another layer over here and uh, this is the layer I'm going to be working from. The reason why you put a second layer here is so that we can make the background transparent uh, because we want to add our own background image in there. Um, so now working with this layer, you're just going to go up here to the magic wand tool and uh, I've got the tolerance set to 60 and uh, you can hold down the shift key and just click anywhere around here and see it's going to select everything but the shirt and you notice there's a little bit of stuff underneath here. You just, as long as you hold down the shift key, it'll, uh, it'll add that to your selection. There's a little bit over here i got to get and uh, once you've got everything selected you can just delete it and I uh, see that's deleted all the background now so all we have left now is just a shirt and um, so all we gotta do now is just add our background in there so um, like I said we have a uh, we've got a uh, template file here this is how we um, we do all of our Instagram posts and stuff but again like I said it doesn't matter what the background image is um, but we use this uh, board, wood, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just going to see. I'm going to copy this from this file. If I can ever get my edit menu to stay open. And then I'm going to select this layer and edit, paste, and boom. There we go. See, I just uh, got to stress this out a little bit so that it fills the whole screen. And that's pretty much it. And uh, the best thing, what I would do is, I would create a uh, like once you get this thing set up like this with your background layer, and uh, I would save this as a Photoshop file. And now you've got a template file to work from. So from now on, uh, like say if you get another shirt, all you got to do is just. Um, so I'll show you. Uh, ch -ch 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 is cold. Like see this is your other shirt, the tie dye. So like say if you get another shirt that you want to um, add a background to it, uh, you just open that file in Photoshop, select it the same way, copy it, and um, just paste it into this uh, Photoshop file like so. And um, 
then you just you do the you do the same thing over. You use the the magic wand tool to select your background and uh, make sure you get everything selected and uh, just delete it and uh, get rid of this over here and uh, then you can hide this down here anything that's beneath it and there boom see now you've got another one and it's and you, you save these as a JPEG or whatever so um, like I said once you get your template file made in Photoshop it's really easy to, to generate uh, subsequent files so um, anyway I hope this helps you out and um, if you have any questions or anything just give me a yell I'll be glad to help you out on it thanks